What's going on guys, it's Nate here, and today we're going to be showing off Beyond Skyrim Roskria, the most recently announced entry in the Beyond Skyrim project. You'll recall this is largely made by the same folks who just released Beyond Skyrim Bruma, one of the largest and most successful mods ever built for Skyrim, and I don't mean that as hyperbole, so you can imagine hopes are very high for this project. Though do keep in mind, there is no certain release date for this mod just yet. The gameplay in the background is largely taken from the mod's first official trailer, that dropped about 10 days ago, and represents a very early look at the mod as it likely still has a long way to go before its launch. But with that out of the way, what is it difficult to pronounce Rizkreia? Well, it's an island in the northern sea of ghosts, just off the coast of the icy continent of Atmora. According to the third brief history of the Empire book, it was conquered by the Emperor Uriel in 276 of the Third Era, and sometime later actually annexed by the Skyrim Hold of Solitude. And that's essentially all Bethesda's given us to know about the region. It's also probable that that's all Bethesda ever will tell us about the place, considering its rather out-of-the-way geographic location. With such little actually canon about Ruzkria, I'm excited to see how the modders handle crafting this island, its story and locations. With Bruma, the Beyond Skyrim team was very much confined to a strict blueprint left by Bethesda, as Bruma was already an explorable region in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, so its notable landmarks, geography, and history were firmly established before the mod team began its development, and they were forced to abide by those principles. But that's not so true for Ruzkria, so I'm anxious to see how the mod team handles this new level of freedom. In fact, they've already began work on their own own story, and it definitely looks like a pretty intriguing one. Here's how they describe it on their website. Quote, For centuries has Ruzkreia faced the onslaught of foreign armies and alien customs, but the Empire, once a proud and glorious conqueror, now struggles to maintain a peace that's increasingly fragile. While their precious East Empire company seeks to throw off their shackles and pursue a ruthless campaign of exploitation. Meanwhile in the high snow-capped mountains, the mighty Bear Colt seeks to hold on to the power they seized so long ago before it slips from their own fingers. And silent within the shadows are the stirrings of a vengeance, three eras in the making. That dramatic and ominous monologue already sounds a bit more entertaining than Fallout 4's plot in my book. The team seems to be gunning for this style of traditional natives versus expansionist theme, which is quite a common one in the Elder Scrolls. If I recall correctly, humans even came from the continent of Atmora, north of Ruzkreia, and migrated to Skyrim, where they wiped out the native elves. Moving on, the map size is set to be a bit bigger than the Solstheim DLC, so roughly around the same as Bruma. The scale is certainly a large one. As mentioned, there's no specific release date as of yet, though we shouldn't expect it until at least 2018 if we're lucky. As they proved with Bruma, the Beyond Skyrim team really does prioritize quality over a speedy release date. I only wish Fallout 4 did the same thing. As mentioned, the trailer captures very early in development footage and does not reflect the intended final project. The trailer doesn't even use any ENVs and is still making use of a few vanilla Skyrim assets that will likely be replaced by launch. Roskreia will be released for Skyrim Special Edition PC and may also get a scaled down version for the Xbox One. Right now, if my memory serves me correctly, the Bruma team is still working on an Xbox One port for their mod as we speak. If you're interested in becoming a part of the Beyond Skyrim project, they've still got a ways to go and they're always looking for qualified individuals. Or if you're just looking to learn more about it, links are in the description down below to the website and Discord. Though I hope you're social, because there's already a couple thousand folks in the Beyond Skyrim Discord. There's a lot on the horizon for the Beyond Skyrim team. Cyrodiil, Thrasa, Mora, Hammerfell, High Rock, and probably some others I'm forgetting, and I'm very excited to see where they take those provinces with them. Thanks for watching, everybody. As I say, literally every outro, like ratings are always very much appreciated, and what are you hoping to see out of this mod the most? More specifically, would you like a large, playable area, or perhaps a gripping and fun, enjoyable questline? Leave a comment down below. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.